video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use and install the animation pose player mod and we're going animation shopping because you guys have always asked me where I get my animations from that I use in my series so in this video I'll be showing you how to download them where I download them and how to install the mod so if you would like to know all of those things keep watching this video Hey guys, oh, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well, like always. And again, like usual, thank you for clicking on this video to watch it. I have been trying to figure out how I wanted to do this video for a very long time, but I was like, let's just do it. I'm gonna make it as short as possible. Usually animation and pose videos, I feel like take longer because you wanna go step by step and show everything, but I think I've gotten down how to do it a little faster without showing you guys every little thing. So first off, without anything, you have to have, obviously, Andrew's studio pose player. You have to have pose player to do anything with poses or animations in the game. So if you do not have that mod, you need to download it. And it is up to date and I'll have the link in the description of this video. So first off, you need the pose player. Secondly, if you wanna use animations, most animations, you need the teleport sim mod. So they're both on the same link in the description of this video, but you need both. I think the animations and poses look better when you have a teleport any sim mod, but you can do it whenever, like you can just teleport your sim anywhere you want them. But when it comes to like couple animations and poses, it does not work at all unless you have this mod. So I just think it's just a must. So download these two things and then you'll be set to go. Again, the link will be in the description of the video, and now I'm going to show you guys how to install both of these mods. So, download them to wherever you download your mods to. I usually do it to the desktop, and now I'm going to show you how to install them right now. Okay, you guys, so as you can see right now, we are on my desktop, and I've downloaded the two mods, and you can see also that I have nothing in my mods folder. I have the electronic arts the Sims for mods folder open. This is where you will put the mod. And I only have my resource.cfg file in my folder because I back up all my mods every time I download something new. That's just what I'm accustomed to because I think it prevents everything from your game crashing, mods not working, all of that. The Sims 4 updates all the time, so whenever you download something new, it's best to try it out in the game on its own so you don't corrupt your the rest of your CC. So I always back my mods up. As you can see, the rest of my mods are right here on my desktop. And I just made a new mods folder by restarting The Sims 4 and leaving the resource.cfg file in there because like I say in all my tutorials, the only way that any mod or CC will work in your game is if you have this file. This file comes with The Sims 4, thank goodness, so you don't have to download it from anywhere. But if you accidentally delete it, that's when things go left. And then your mods don't work or your CC doesn't work. And every time I get a comment about why isn't my CC working or why aren't my mods working, I always ask this question first. Do you have a resource.cfg file in your folder? And if you don't, that's the culprit. And I have a video on how to get it back. It takes less than a minute. I'll have that linked in the description of this video as well, but moving on, I have to say that in every tutorial. I know it gets like repetitive, but it's very needed. Um, when you download these two, the Andrew Pose Player is what we're gonna start with. It has a script and a package file. So, with that said, you need both of them. You can't just put one of them in your mod folder. You need both for this mod to work. So if you accidentally just put the package file in your mod folder, it won't work. But if you only put the script file, it won't work either. You need two of them for it to work. So I would just highlight both of them, drag and drop them over like that. And then the same with the teleport mod because this has a script and a package file as well. Just drag and drop it in your mods folder, just like that. And while we're in here, I'm going to create a folder that says animations because that's what this video is going to be about and I always have folders in my mods folder so if you don't stay organized like that you can just drop your animations in here with these mods but I always like to keep my mods organized so I created a folder so when we do start downloading them 
we will know where we're putting them inside of this folder. But again, if you don't want to make a folder or anything, you can just put your animations directly into your mods folder. But that is it, you guys. That's how you install this mod or these two mods. And now we're going to start animation shopping. Okay, you guys. So my first stop, like usual, is... Lana CC. That's just where it is. And I know that you guys are like, Lana's like taking a break or whatever. Yes, this website's not active right now, but it's still up. And a lot of my favorite creators still have their stuff on here and it's been reblogged so I can find their names and stuff without like having to remember what their website is or whatever. So I go here first. So this is what I usually do. So I'm gonna show you guys. I will see, like, if the name looks good, I may play the video, but sometimes I don't. But I know that see, it's this one. You don't have to click on anything, and it's just showing you what it looks like. And all you need is the accessory of, like, makeup um, in her hand, or his hand, then, yeah. I love this animation, and uh, WFC Productions makes beautiful, beautiful poses as well, not only animations, but also, so like this one, since it says sitting around, you know, I love like sitting animations, just any animation period to mix with my poses, this is what I look for, but see, this looks good. I'll fast forward it to see if it zooms in, and it does, so I can see the animation up front, and then in detail what it does as you can see it was not just like sitting swinging her legs or his legs it has like waiting playing with their hands putting their hands on their knees so that's good and then also this pose looks very interesting because I know it's sitting and talking and sitting and talking is like amazing and it has a female and male version which is good so I would definitely download this too. And it's easy to download from Lana if you haven't. You just click, the links are usually with the post. And then, what is this one? This is a child animation. I don't have any children animations because I don't use Sims. Um, Sims, I don't use child Sims in my series at all, ever. Like, it's very rare. Like, I have Teen Mom, but their kids aren't old enough right now, so I don't. I just have toddlers and toddlers don't have any poses really but they don't need any because the animations that came with the sims 4 for toddlers are amazing but this is beautiful if i use children i would actually get this uh this pose animation looks beautiful sorry i'm late show someone walking up she's on her phone waiting oh my gosh this is like amazing taps her then Kisses her. Oh, I like it. I like this a lot. Thing Sims 4. See, this is how I get like creators' names as well. So that's good. And then this doesn't have a video, but it's by MMD, so I know it's amazing. MMD is amazing. So uh, it's probably they're just singing and dancing, but I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to keep going, go to the next page, just so you guys can get a feel of what I do on Lana. It's the same way I do pose shopping. I just look for something that looks interesting, but most animations are interesting because they're animations, so usually I just download all of them, even if I don't know if I'm going to use them. So this animation pack comes with her painting a crib, plus cheersing with champagne with whoever this is and trying to feed her toddler which is the cutest thing and leaning in to whoever this is and kissing him while he's playing the piano which is the cutest animation for random animations i would definitely download this if i needed it i'm not downloading it right now but just get showing you guys how i pose shop and where to go so i'll have Lana, <laughs> the animation link though, directly to the animations in the description of this video. And then also I post shop on YouTube. If you guys would like to have my playlist for different animations, definitely let me know because 
I have a playlist for all of my animations that I use in my series. And I know that would be helpful for you guys. So if you want the link to it though, let me know and then I'll send it to you. But I'm not going to make it like public or anything because it is like a private list that I add to like almost every other day. But if you want access to it, let me know and I will send it to you or put it like reply to your comment. But on YouTube, I just put in Sims 4 animation. That's what I type. Sims 4 animations and then I would just press search but I already I've already done that so you can see there's this anger pose pack by exo simplay and I subscribe to everyone I download from I just think that it helps the community out like I usually say I love supporting in it whatever way I can if they don't have a patron then I definitely subscribe and turn notifications on so I can see their new work and use it in my stuff I just found um, Mahiro while doing this video so showing you guys that I subscribe and turn on notifications so this is going to be an amazing I know pack because I love talking like talking animations are needed when you're doing a sim series or just a machinima or whatever any type of machinima because the animations on The Sims 4 are amazing, don't get me wrong, but they're usually slower and more, pres like, just have way more facial expressions as you can see when it's an animation pack. So I love this, it's like perfect. So I'll be downloading that for sure. And I like going on YouTube because it's like a full on video. And sometimes on Lana, the creators on there, they don't have videos attached to their animation, so you just have to like, read that it's gonna be that animation like oh kissing animation you just have to download to see what it is um i love this creator exo simplay i think that was in here already but this creator was already in this video but i love this creator as you can see i'm subscribed and notifications are turned on but this creator just makes flawless animations that are way more realistic than i usually see the um the smoothness of the animation is way as you can see like look zooming in on her it's just way more realistic i don't know how to else to say it it's just realistic looking and who else i don't want to like go too crazy with it but i want to give you guys a lot of links so even if i'm not showing you them, i'm gonna have a few of my favorite creators in the description of this video because this is a shopping video and um i want to show you guys who i love and uh, I only have the people I love in this video. This is one of my favorite, 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 like the, I don't even, I think this is my favorite animation creator actually, in my studio gaming because, oh my gosh, just the couple animations are just amazing and they always come with like so many in one pack and it's like a whole scene, you could just have a whole scene of animations with this person's creations because, in one download. Because in this one scene, you get six animations or seven, and they talk, then they come close to each other, then they dance, and then they kiss each other, and it's just like, that's a whole scene, right? At least for me in one of my machinimas, and I love it. Um, I know I keep saying I'm not going to go through all of them, but I might as well, right? Not all of them, but th I think this will be the last one that I show you. Uh, and... This creator is one of my faves as well. Like I said, only people that I love are in this. And I love sitting ones because I have so many standing animations and now that people are creating sitting ones, I just am so excited. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this creator's name, but I am subbed and notifications are turned on. So yeah, like I said, if you want the playlist, I will send it to you and I'm adding to it at least once a week. So you will see an update added to it once a week at least and oh my gosh this comes with a lot of different ones and I guess I need a bottle for these animations um different different but as you can see it's not in English I don't know what it says but I still subscribe <laughs> but that's it you guys I'm going to download the ones that I've shown you and probably some that I haven't shown you and then go into the game and show you guys actually how to use uh, the animation player right now so you would download it wherever the download link is in the description of whatever video you see on YouTube 
download it and then put it in your mods folder like I showed you prior um, in the earlier part of this video and then go straight into your game and that's what I'm gonna do right now and show you guys what everything's looking like okay you guys so once you start your game you should see what I see right now the mods window is open and you should be able to see underneath custom content the Andrew Pose player and underneath script mod the Andrew Pose player script and the teleport sim script and the teleport sim mod at the top scroll through if you didn't do what I did and you didn't do it with an empty mods folder you're gonna have to scroll through until you find those things and if you downloaded animations to go along with me um, with the tutorial then you will see some actual animations but they won't be underneath script mods they should only be underneath custom content because all of the animations I showed you do not have scripts with them I do have some animations that have scripts but I did not download any of them for this tutorial but that's it you guys if your mods look like this most importantly if you have the post player and teleport sim script and mods in the right place you can go on and download and install as many poses and animations as you want but this is how you know if you've installed it correctly and now we're gonna head in the game okay you guys so we're in game now and I'm going to head on in and go straight into build by mode because that's where we're gonna find the objects that we need so first off we have to turn cheats on while we're in build mode so we're gonna go testing cheats on and then press enter. I will have the cheat in the description of this video so you can just copy and paste it and on the screen. So testing, cheat, space, and then on, press enter. So our cheats will work when we're not doing this. So if you did what I said and you started your game off with a fresh mods folder, you all you have to do is filter by each item if their game is full of CC, you're going to need to type it in over here. I mean, filter over here if you have So if your game is full of CC, you're going to need to type in the teleport sim mod right here to find it. And you'll see it needed to be underneath miscellaneous but if you don't and you started off with a fresh mods folder like I suggested you would just go over here filter by custom content and it'll be right here and we just need two of them in one place for the animations that we've downloaded because we downloaded couple animations and single person animations but I'm gonna start with a couple one and just do that place them in the same place we're gonna go into live mode now or live mode our cheats are on but our headline effects are still on and I'm saying headline effects because a lot of animations look great but I don't like the way the Sims little plum bob is on top of their heads so I'm going to remove it before we get started so if you want to remove the plumb bob it is headline effects off so again that will be in the description for you to copy and paste it and on the screen so it's headline space I mean sorry headline effects space off and then press enter and then you can just drip, jump straight into doing your animation. So we're going to teleport a sim. That's how you would get the sims you want. You can teleport any sim, even if they're not on your lot. But we're going to teleport the sims that are in our lot. And actually, before we animate, we're going to go into game options. Because I come into this problem when I'm filming for my machine, but not anymore, because now I've learned that... This is what I should do. I always have my autonomy off because they will move and do whatever they want if you don't have it off. So make sure that it's off and then apply the changes and then go back into your game. But turn that off before you get started. I think it's better to remember to do it that way. I already had it off. I just forgot to show you guys that. So he's teleported here and I like to do one sim at a time. 
So I will get him started. So you would go to pose by pack, not pose by name, um, pose by pack. And you see we downloaded three animation packs. So we're gonna do the, the kiss or just the couple animation. And I think that's the dancing one. Or, sorry, I'm late. We're gonna do all of them, but I wanna start with, sorry, I'm late because I've never seen this one and I was so excited to get it. Um, uh, so it's like approaching the sim or waiting on the sim. He's gonna be the one approaching the sim. So the male in the video, he's gonna be acting as that sim. So that's all you do and then press exit. And then we're gonna teleport her here and we're gonna have her do the one, obviously the opposite one of him, but you would do the same thing and press teleport by pack. I mean, pose by pack. Um, and then she's the one waiting. And after that, you just click off this and you just press play uh, to see the animation. So we're just gonna press play. And he's in the stairs because I didn't do it with enough space, but I thought I did. She doesn't have her phone in her hand, but you can see that the animation is going beautifully. And he's behind her, he sees her and he kisses her. Oh my gosh. That animation is so smooth and gorgeous. And then it just replays until you're done, until you click off of it. And if you want them to stop without like pressing, you could always go into here and go to uh, pose by pack and it has stopped them when you replace it with something. But I always just click off of the action and they'll go back to where they were. So you don't need another teleport sim. And this is what I do because it gets me doing my animations faster. So right now we're gonna go to pose by pack again. And I think we're just gonna do the kiss. And she's the female in it. So we're gonna do that and then click off. And then go back in, do him. And make sure we're on the kiss and then go to male click off and then you do the same exact thing and press play and I go into tab mode because this is how I film and oh my gosh this is like beautiful it's just so smooth oh that's so cute the cutest oh my gosh that was so cute and from far away it looks smooth too so that's what you want um that's how you know it's a good pose creator but that's it you guys for that one let me get out of tab mode and go back down here click off of this and we're gonna do one last one to show you guys i think three times <laughs> three times a charm so after they're done, then they'll stop. And then we'll click on her one more time. And we're gonna pose by pack. And we're gonna do, this one comes with a lot, I know. Um, the hug, crying. Oh, this is not the dancing one. This is a different one. We're gonna do the hug. I really wanna see this hug because I don't have any good smooth hugging animations and I wanna make sure this one is beautiful. So she's gonna be the female. And then we're gonna go and then we're going to click on him and we're gonna make sure that this hug is what I am anticipating it to be. And I'm so excited. And it comes with two, so the comforting version or just hugging. So we're gonna do the hug. And then this is gonna be the last animation that I show you guys. And then that's it. And then we're gonna press play and see if this hug is gorgeous, like in the video. Okay, let me press pause really fast and get us to where we can see if this hug is beautiful. They're very close, oh my gosh. Intense hug, right? Very intense hug. We're gonna press play and oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
um i don't know if i like it that much i don't know it's actually better than the ones i have because it's like close and tight and like on the actual other i don't know it's actually better than the ones i have because it's like close and tight and like on the actual other sim okay i can deal with that but you guys that's it for the animations and let me go back down without moving my camera sorry i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this tutorial and i hope it wasn't too long but i wanted it to be way more in detail than my other one was because i got so many questions but if you guys would like to see me do one just for poses just this in depth or where i get my poses from let me know or just any other videos I have to do with animating or how I film my series, let me know because I know a lot of people have asked me to start a machinima series, like tutorial series, and I would love to do that for you guys. But with that said, I hope you guys are having a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, share it with someone who is learning how to do poses and animations, and I will talk to you guys all soon.